Welcome to Q and Eric, now with only three grams of saturated fat per serving. Our first question comes from Young Spielberg, <laughs> clever, on our forums. He wants to know, where can I get free background music for my movies? Check out the right side of our blog. There's a ton of really great links, and three of those pertain to audio. There's new grounds. <laughs> Spin Express and Free Sound Project. You can also check out this link where a bunch of our forum users are providing you guys with free music of their own. Blender81 wants to know where he can find the movie The Wackness. To refresh your memory, this was probably me and Justin's favorite film we saw at Sundance. And lucky for all of us, it was picked up by Sony Pictures Classic and is going to be in limited release July 3rd and then probably everywhere else. So check it out this summer. The Wackness. But it's it's two words. I kind of made it sound like three. Yep. Frank wants to know, is it harder to shoot in HD than regular video? And what are the dimensions of widescreen? It's not really any harder to shoot in HD, but it can be more difficult to edit in HD. It's a much bigger file. It's going to slow down your machine a lot more than standard definition. But it's a lot prettier. To see a good example of these three sizes and actions, head over to Apple Trailers. If you go check out the HD options, you'll see that they come in 480, 720, and 1080, which of course refers back to the sizes I just talked about. You can also check out this cool chart, bing, which lays out all the sizes of all different stuff. Hey, Andy Mogul, this is Sam the Music Man 12, and I have two quick questions for Q and Eric. And my first question is, I have this shotgun mic, and it has a switch right here. And I was just wondering if you knew what the switch is and what the two different sides mean. When you move that switch over to the side with the bent line, that's going to activate the low-pass filter, which actually filters out high-frequency sound. And my second question is that I have a Canon GL2, and attached to that I have the MA300 microphone adapter so that I can plug in an XLR cable to it. And after I import this into Final Cut Pro, um, there's about a two second lag between the audio and the video. As far as your audio is concerned, if everything is fine during playback in the camera and then you put it in Final Cut and the audio is out of sync, there's probably a problem with your sample rates. The sample rate in Final Cut probably doesn't match the sample rate on your camera. So make sure your settings match. All right, that's it for this episode. But remember, we're serious about celebrating Indie Mogul's one-year anniversary, and we want to see your videos. Make sure and get them in. Wish us happy birthday. Tell us your favorite moment, and send them in by May 11th. That's the deadline. And we'll see you next week on Q and Eric. At the tone, leave a message. We'll get back to you. Me and my friends went down to see a uh, third uh, Star Wars. They overbooked the theater. We waited around for five hours for the next showing. Cloverfield, outside the theater, four hours before the movie started, got the third set of tickets. 47 hours for Star Wars Episode 3, and close second would probably be uh, the 36 hours for Star Wars Episode 2. I'm Peter Bridger, president of Mobile Bro, and I approve this message. <laughs>